he has actually been linked with Manchester United. So where do you see his future? Well, first of all, I can tell you that the um, idea or the story that he's already agreed to go to Man United and he's definitely off is, uh, for my information, categorically wrong. And no decision has been made. His preference is still very much to be at Arsenal. He's asked for the number 10 shirt. He's really committed. He wants to stay. He bought a huge house, spent tons of money in decorating it. Uh, it's not something you do if you want to you know, leave the country or leave the, leave the city. But there's been no movement. And uh, I think it's been very conveniently portrayed as him holding out for this huge deal. Um, from his point of view, they're saying this, they're asking for something reasonable. Obviously, Arsenal see things differently. And I think it's uh, in the club's interest to portray him as somebody who's very greedy and unreasonable. But I, for my information, that's just not the case. And we're not talking about super mega, mega deals or 600 grand a week or even 300. Uh, he's looking for, a, for an upgrade to what has been a contract that's four years old now and doesn't really reflect the, uh, the realities of the Premier League anymore. Well, Paul Mariner, Arsenal, that's your team. And you're over here laughing at what Raf's saying about Ozil. No, I was, I was laughing about that. I mean, I, I, I hear that the housing prices in London are pretty stable, so I don't think he's going to lose too much. <laughs> but so I think he can afford I'm, to have a house in look, Manchester. I'm, I'm laughing at how, how petty this is. I mean, we're talking about a top, top player, and he wants the number 10 shirt. What's that all about? I mean, who's bothered? You, you just play your football. It doesn't matter what shirt you wear. Get it and play football. The, the biggest worry I have about Arsenal is, look, the, the two of the best players in the football club and possibly two of the best players on the day in the Premier League, why, are, why have Arsenal let the contracts run down until they may get nothing for them in the summer? It's, 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 it's eye-rolling time again for Arsenal, Arsenal fans. It's, it just doesn't make any sense. But, I mean, let's talk about the enigma that really and truly is Mesut Ozil, because he's very hot and cold, Stevie. I mean, we saw him against Everton, and he was great, but then, you know, flashback a couple of weeks ago, and it's like, why is he even playing? When you get a player in your team like Mesut Ozil, you have to build the way you play around him. Because if you do that, then he will produce. So you have to make him the star and the focal point. But there's other big names on the listen, squad Listen, by there. the way, and when you say that... I don't think Mesut Ozil is, is portraying that he wants to be the star. I'm just saying, when you get a player with his sort of quality, you have to build your team around that quality. And the fact, the fact that, that he's not wanting a stupid number and Arsenal are not willing to, to go for what he's asking right now Tell me, tells you that Arsenal are only interested in the finances Steve, again. If, if, they're if, interested in... If, you, you're going to the mighty Arsenal. They're in fifth. If you've got, the mighty Steve, Arsenal are in fifth. Right there if, and they've got a, and they've got look the, at the recruiting. You, you've got Lacazette, who can score goals. You've got Sanchez and Ozil, who's going to the, the, the pipeline. Look what they've got behind them, protecting. If, if, if we're saying that Ozil is a lazy player, he's super talented in the attacking third, look at the recruitment behind him. Coquelin was never going to be the answer, so they're going to get Granite Xhaka and El, ne El Neni. Never happening. It's not good enough for, for a team that needs to push, and, and they're never even going to come closer getting into the getting closer winning the Premier League this season. Absolute certainty. Top four Premier League winning. Are you, are you okay? <laughs> no, but we're well, never, never going to win the Premier your, League. We're never going to get near the top four. And what I'm saying is, to your point, if you're going to see, if you're going to build a team around Ozil, what about your recruitment? The recruitment's been dreadful. Simple as that. Shaka, how do you see Arsenal without Mesut Ozil? Are they better off without him? Uh, better off without him right now, yes. Because to, to Stevie's point, with Mesut Ozil, you do have to build a team around him, both sides of the ball. OK, maybe they have some answers in, in Lacazette, but quite clearly they don't have any, any, any defensive cover for, for, for Mesut Ozil. Uh, you know, and, and the bigger picture here for, for Arsenal is, can they keep hold of, 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 of Ozil and Sanchez? I... I, I I'm surprised that Sanchez is still there. I thought he, he would have been gone this summer. I, I, I don't see how, how he's there come, come July. Um, at the same time, I'm not sure who picks up measured Ozil now on the type of salary that he would command and have to build a team around him as, as, as Arsenal quite clearly does as, as, as well. I'm not sure who takes that gamble on, on that player. So I think Arsenal have themselves in a little bit of a pickle with those two players. But the big complaint is, this is same old Arsenal, same old Arsene Wenger that we've been complaining about and, and we've been predicting for, for quite some time. Well, Raf, you're close to the scene in Germany. How do they view things there based on his club form? Well, I think he splits opinion to a certain extent, much as he does in London, because people have seen the very best of him and they've seen him sometimes not quite live up to his potential. But he's won 
the World Cup for Germany. He's always turned up when it really matters. And, uh, you know, even last year uh, in the Euros where Germany on the whole didn't quite perform, he had a, he had a pretty solid tournament. So, I mean, he will always, because of the way he plays, because he's not somebody who sweats a lot, he's not, he's not somebody <laughs> who bleeds for the shirt, he's nobody who's going to fly into tackles, he will always, I think, wind up people unless he produces top football goals, assists all the time. But, you know, uh, I think that Arsenal cannot afford necessarily to lose a guy like him. Um, they don't get any money for, it, for him. And uh, there are very few people who you can put in an Arsenal team and know that they will instantly understand what Arsene Wenger is trying to do. Where defensively, he always offers you enough as a different story. But he plays the football that Wenger wants. And at his very best, he's made Arsenal a wonderful side to watch.